Right, this is how I'm transferring the down from the donor the grey into the purple one. I've made six tubes, ten inches wide, whole length of both of them. And I'm going to transfer one tube at a time. I've done several already. And so I'll get the two joined together. You can sew this, which I've done, but this is quite a simple technique. Gaffer tape. silver is the donor. I'm putting that slightly inside the purple one so the down won't catch as it passes through. throws. I'm going to take down out of this chamber here. I've done that one. So this is the next one to do. So I'm going to shake down to the bottom. And squeeze it down in. edges. Being 10 inch wide tubes, it's quite easy to slide my hand down inside. If you were to just rip one way, you'd end up with 5 inch tubes, which I imagine would be a little bit harder to get your hand down inside, but I guess not impossible. Thing I 
take a commercial break now and we can come right back when the action continues. Okay, welcome back. So now I've opened up a little hole at the top of the tube so I can get some air in there to blow the remainder down and out. If you had compressed air line you could get that in there and just get the tube inflated and blow it down through. And all I'm going to do is blow into it. Try not to swallow any down. <coughs> and then once that's inflated, I can just grab it between my fingers force the air down through, forcing any remainder down into the bag below. I can do that several times. And into the bag below. One more time for luck. Let's see how we've done with that. Now we come to the undocking procedure. So the dam doesn't come back. I'll put a clip on there. I'm let that clip down a bit. Give yourself some space. And unpeel. I've rushed it a bit since you guys are watching, so it might not be perfect this time. But trust me, the last time I did this, honest, I had no down left in the donor tube. <coughs> oh, I think I really did swallow it. <coughs> a bit of down. Wear a mask. That's your health and safety advice. Do not do as I do, as somebody is keep on saying. Okay. Have a look how much down is left in that tube. Not too bad. Good way to find out. To turn the whole kit and caboodle inside out. So that's now maybe a simpler way of doing this was to buy myself the six ounces of down that was in inside this donor. But if you've got two, this is just as cheap. Buying six ounces of 700 fill is much the same price as buying one of these down throws. So this is quite convenient if they're a little long winded. I think what I might do is once I've emptied this grey silvery one, is buy some more down to refill it. As you can see there's not too much left inside that tube. There's a little bit, but I can hoover that up later. There you go, pretty clean. A few bits and bobs floating about. Luckily we're not house probe. So that's that one done. And then all I have to do is pin and stitch that back together and that's another tube done. One more to go. Hopefully a down throw with 12 ounces of down in it ready for some pseudo faux baffles to be put in. <laughs> 